Welcome to Midwest Whitetail, the Great Plains Show. Dean Gierke coming to you from Northern Missouri. Well, today's project is sort of a unique one. Um, this will be the second tree that I've planted this summer. And you might be wondering, why are you planting trees in the middle of summer? Well, what we're doing is we're actually planting trees for the deer to rub on and scrape on in specific areas. And what I'm talking about is actually putting trees in the ground. We're going to end up concreting, concreting them in, and you'll see that in a second. Um, in areas where we want to draw the buck's attention away from us in a tree stand such that they'll be rubbing or scraping on trees. So anyway, the tree that we're, we're interested in taking down um, is actually this one right here behind us. And you might be asking why that specific tree? Well, what we're looking for, one, is a cedar tree. Uh, just because if you, if you walk around the woods or if you have any cedar trees at all on your property, you notice that the bugs love to rub on cedar trees. Not really sure why but they just do. I'm also looking for a tree that's going to be four to five, maybe six inches in diameter. Um, the reason that is, the bigger the tree, hopefully the bigger the bucks will be that come in to rub it. Also, that'll give you a longer life with respect to how long that tree can stay out in the woods before it eventually rots away and breaks off and then you have to put in a new one. So those are some of the, the details around why um, and how big. And so what we end up doing is we'll go in here We'll cut that tree down and drag it to uh, where we uh, where we want to plant it, and then it's just a process of digging a hole and, and uh, concreting, it, concreting it in. So, come along with us as we uh, as we pull this tree down here in uh, in September. Well, there you have it. Um, really not much to it. Uh, a shovel and about $4 worth of sackcrete and you got yourself a, a rub post or a, or a scrape post. We're hoping that uh, this gets worked uh, this fall. But before we leave, what we end up liking to do is just take uh, our saws and uh, rub up the tree a little bit and add some Code Blue rack rub to it. Just, just as an attractant to see if, uh, you know, when the bucks are starting to rub like they are this time of year. Uh, get the velvet off if they'll come in and use it. So it's just used as an attractant uh, to try to bring them in. We'll set up a trail camera on the uh, on the uh, tree here to see uh, what comes in here early season. Certainly there'll be another camera on it uh, during the rut itself to see if they use it. We'll be monitoring scrapes around here and uh, we'll uh, end up taking a picture here in a second of where the tree stand set is relative to this tree uh, sitting in this nice uh, frigid forage uh, food plot. So. That's what our final touch is then with the tree, and then we'll show you what the, uh, the, what the tree stand and this hunting setup uh, looks like here in a second. All right, well that concludes our, uh, pro or our project for today, our rub slash scrape tree. So we're hoping for some good success this fall. Uh, this actually happens to be our best food plot um, because of the drought conditions. This is actually doing quite well. We're hoping for some rain here in the next couple days. Uh, but this is the setup. Uh, this is a, a food plot that's back in the timber. There's timber all the way around that except for the agriculture field that's just out there. Our tree stand will end up being in that tree right there. Uh, I actually killed a, a drop tine buck out of that tree uh, about four years ago. I had a nine inch drop tine. Josh, my uh, hunting partner here, shot a pretty nice buck out of there in, in 2006. So this is a really good spot. A lot of timber work has been done. Uh, around uh, this particular food plot. So there's also a small secluded pond not too far from the tree stand. So this has everything that the deer need. The bedding is here, the food is here. Uh, now they have the scrape and the rub tree, so hopefully they'll use that. You can probably also see the apple trees in the background. So this is really a good core area for the deer. So we're looking for a lot of success in this area uh, come this fall. And so hopefully, uh, you know, they start using this tree. Certainly we'll, we'll be posting uh, results of uh, how they use this tree on Whitetail Watch as well as Midwest Whitetail. Whitetail. So certainly stay tuned uh, for action from Josh and I here from uh, Missouri and Iowa and uh, good luck to you this fall.